Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today we are talking about Cell. The final in the trilogy of garbage um, Stephen King published after his car accident. Well, actually after he was ran over by a van in 19, 1999. I hesitate to call it a car accident because he was just ran over. Um, this is one of those books, uh, my opinion goes like this. Uh, the book was great for the very first couple of chapters, and then it just went downhill from there. And then at some point, Stephen King just stopped writing. Um, and, they, and literally, as far as I remember, yeah, it pretty much just ends in a thought. Uh, ends in mid-thought. Uh, there are several good parts about this book, but none of them are cohesive. Uh, they don't come together to make one single good story. Uh, you have the Raggedy Man, which was a, a great villain. Um, but then you have scenes like uh, the, what is it, the football stadium, um, and so on. And then he reuses another, there's the explosion there, There's the, reuses another explosion. The book just does not feel... It does not feel like a serious novel. Um, it constantly feels like just B-horror trash. Um, and there's a bit... Somebody pointed out to me that it was, if I remember correctly, it was right at... This book was published right after 9-11. Let me go ahead and go back here and look. Um, let's see. Actually, this version says 2006. Let's do a little more homework here. Uh, ba dum 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 there was a lot of what felt like xenophobia in this one. Now it's 2006 all the way across. Um, the way the the phonies or the phoners talk, uh, if you go back and you read it with that in mind, you might catch it, you might not. I'm still not 100% on that idea, but um, I got a buddy of mine that brought that up, and I kind of see where he's coming from. So, Gregor, if you're out there, there's a shout-out for you. Um... How does this one tie into the Dark Tower? Uh, well, I, it's pretty simple. I mean, there's two definites that tie it into... Uh, well, the, sorry, there's one definite and one maybe. The first maybe is right at the beginning of the book. Um, the main character, what's his name? Clay, I think it was. Um, yeah, yeah, Clay R Riddell? Riddle? Whatever. Um, Clay is a graphic artist, a uh, comic artist. And he is working on a story called The Dark Wanderer, um, and about a, an apocalyptic cowboy story. So that's got Dark Tower written all over it. But the hard evidence that this one connects is Charlie the Choo Choo is mentioned in this one. And he, of course, is also mentioned in The Wastelands. And I don't know if you guys can see it up there. Just lean it. Let me, camera lady, lean it back. The uh, actual book. Right there, Charlie the Choo Choo, that King went, by, went back and had done afterwards. Um, so, funniest part about this this paperback here, I think this is interesting. Um, Lisey's story came out, of course, after Cell. But in this one, there's actually a, a bit from Lisey's story at the back. And the reason I think that's funny is because these two books couldn't be more different. You have B-rated horror, and then Lisey's story is King's first like, literary, hard, a hard attempt at literary fiction. Um, but have any of you, this is one of the only Stephen King adaptations I have not watched. Um, it has the, the dynamic duo from 14, the 1408 uh, adaptation. It's got Samuel Jackson and John Cusack. But I have heard so many terrible things about this, how um, the movie feels unfinished, just like the book did. So have you seen the adaptation? Um, if you did, let me know what you think down there. I might have actually give it a shot if somebody you know that I trust can, can tell me that it's worth a watch. If nothing else, maybe let me know whether or not it's worth a watch just for the laughs, kind of like Bag of Bones adaptation. So, um, did you have you read Cell? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Especially if you liked it. Don't just say, I liked it, E. I want you to tell me down there in the doobly-doo why you liked it. What you liked about it. Anyways, so that's it for Cell. I think I covered everything. Until next time, 
I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.